Guys at the Healing Bar, my name is Frank. And I'm Sakura. Today we're going to be discussing the new moon lunar phase. For a lot of people, that is a time to release and work on self-love. For those of us who like to do outdoor rituals under the moonlight, what I recommend is taking a bath or shower to cleanse yourself, and then you take some white sage, cedar, birch, bay leaves, and smudge yourself with those herbs. Once you're done, you find your spot in nature, you thank the environment and the nature spirits there. Some people will drum, sing, play a rattle. Some people also burn incense as an offering. Once done and you've cleansed the space, cast a sacred circle to provide you with protection, to amplify your magic, and to draw down more lunar energy. A simple meditation you can do for releasing would be closing your eyes and focusing on the physical sensation of your breath. Next, you want to envision everyone else's energy that you're releasing to leave your body as balloons flying off in the sky. You can also envision it as black smoke leaving your body and flying off into the sky. Once done, that is when you thank all the spirits around you. You thank your loved ones, your ancestors. You close the circle. And a little quote in uh, Wicca, we say, Mary we meet and Mary we part to Mary meet again. We never say goodbye. So what about you? Um, so a uh, ritual that I do and I'm going to do um, is an indoor one. Um, so with this new moon being in Libra, it's really about money, love, and beauty being of significance, um, especially self-love. I'm big about self-love and how important it is um, and inviting more peace, order, and balance into your life since Libra is the sign of balance. Um, so treat yourself like the royalty you are. That's my motto for today. <laughs> um, and this is a great self-care um, ritual bath that you can do. Um, so you can start off by lighting some candles. Um, white is good for healing and protecting. Pink for caring and love, of course. Um, you want the water to be warm. You can use sea salt, Epsom salt, uh, Himalayan pink salt. Um, and then you can use rose oil, um, which rose is the flower of Venus. Um, and geranium, which is the herb of Venus, as well as chamomile for peace and balance. And so we have a rose geranium oil here um, that you can use to mix the two um, and chamomile. And you can adorn your bath with rose buds, rose petals. You can put them in the bath or around the bath. Um, just really for that self-love. And you can also include crystals in your bath. Um, so you can use rose quartz, of course, for love, um, or black tourmaline, which is great for protection and bringing peace. Um, now you can either have those sitting out along your bath or you can meditate um, with them while you do your ritual bath. So you really want to make sure that your intentions are for yourself. We spend so much time worrying about everybody else and, and giving everybody else our energy that we neglect ourselves um, mentally, physically, spiritually. So you really want to take this time to really love yourself and, and care for yourself. So you can do this for about 20, 30 minutes. You can listen to some meditative music, some calming chakra healing, some frequencies, whatever you choose. Or you can sit in silence and just meditate. Um, it's really all about you. Just make sure whenever you go to leave the bath, you stay in the water um, and stay in the tub until the water drains fully and set the intention that everything that no longer serves you um, is going down the drain with the water. You know, like you said, this new moon, the new moon in general is all about um, releasing what doesn't serve you. Um, so I hope that this is helpful, whether you choose to do it an outdoor or indoor ritual, it's your preference. Um, and happy new moon, everyone. Thanks. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. subscribe.